If I have seen farther, the scientist said, it's not because I am a giant. Great minds of the past have helped me get ahead. It's their shoulders on which I'm reliant. Now listen to me, said the great on whose shoulder the first one was glad to have stood. I'm quite short of stature. It's just that I'm older, and those before me were so good. And sure enough, this one was perched on the neck of a giantess of great renown, who balanced in turn on another. By heck, it's little guys all the way down. And some were thought giants, and some were thought midgets, and some were thought nothing at all. But each would insist, those below were no idiots. It is them that have made me so tall. And scrambling around them, their fans would aspire to see something not seen before, by climbing the tower of dwarfs ever higher, for glimpses, or footholds, or more. Most could not scale to the summit in time before their peak fitness would end. Some found it tough and abandoned the climb, while some would with vigor descend. Aware that such heights were so taxing to reach, they helped to lift people and hopes, inventing new ladders and platforms to teach, securing and showing the ropes. They might not be giants, but they must go far. And that journey isn't for me. I'll boost them through science, raise them and the bar, and profit from what they will see. So said the teacher while lifting a child on shoulders so humbled and stressed. The youth saw a vista that had them beguiled and bounded straight up to the crest.